Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Queen Sanity and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my creamy shea butter. Now this is very versatile. You can use it for your hair. You can also use it for your skin, um, just depending on what you want to do with it. But I'm just going to show you how. So stick around. All right, so here's what you're gonna need. First, we're gonna start off with a bowl. You do need a glass bowl, and you'll see why later. You're also gonna need a mixing spoon and also a tablespoon, just to make sure you measure out your oils properly. And then um, we're gonna be using about eight different products. The first, obviously, the shea butter, which is the main product. I do get the white shea butter, which is the unrefined. And the reason why I get it is because I want the products to be as natural as possible for my hair so that I can get all the nutrition instead of just having a lot of stuff processed. And then you're gonna have the coconut oil, uh, which helps with dandruff and moisturizing your hair and breakage and split ends. Then we're going to put in some hemp seed oil, which has a lot of fatty acids in it, which is necessary for your hair growth after hair growth. Um, and it's good for blood circulation as well. The Sunny Owl Jamaican Black Castor Oil is my all-time favorite oil. As we know, that is help, that's going to help with thickening your hair and also growing it. Um, love, love, love castor oil. And then we're going to put some essential oils. We're going to start with rosemary. That's going to be, um, that's just going to help you with the hair loss and hair growth. It also helps with um, to stop your hair from graying and uh, dandruff. Then the peppermint oil, as we know, helps with gives you that tingling feeling, and that's just to help with blood circulation, which essentially help with hair growth. And then lavender is going to help with hair loss, thinning of the hair, hair breakage, and dry hair. Now this MSM powder is actually for joints, but it is um, an anti-inflammatory um, powder. It helps with um, hair growth and actually retention. So we're not going to be putting a lot of it in there, just um, tea, two teaspoons in it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. You're going to grab your bowl and you're going to start off with making sure that you put all your shea butter inside. I did get this shea butter from my local beauty supply store. I'm going to turn up the light really really good for you all i want you to see um exactly how your shea butter should look if you have the unrefined one as opposed to the um the yellow one the yellow uh shea butter is so um dry um this is a little bit easier to work with it's very moist it already has kind of it's already kind of creamy so it makes it a little bit easier to go ahead and mix up when you're mixing everything together so that's one of another reasons why I got the uh, the white unrefined shea butter. So you go ahead and put everything in there. I was trying to get everything out of there. <laughs> Save your coins, honey. All right. So when you get everything, all the shea butter in there, you're going to go ahead and start putting in your coconut oil. I use four tablespoons of coconut oil in there. Um, you do not have to melt. <clears throat> your coconut oil, because um, you'll see why we're putting it on the stove. So, Also, you're going to go ahead and add that uh, castor oil. And with the castor oil, um, I love, like I said, the Jamaican black castor oil. You're going to do two tablespoons of that. I had a little bit left, um, so I just went ahead and poured it in there. But if you can get that sunny aisle, and I will link everything down in the description box below, um, but that's the best. Uh, that's my favorite. The hemp seed oil. I've actually been using this for the last th three or four months, and I love it. Huge fan. And then you're going to um, put the MSM powder in, and it comes with that little spoon thing so you can measure off properly. Then you're going to add all your essential oils. I added about 10 drops of each oil. Um, if you don't know, lavender and rosemary helps tremendously with... Um, uh, hair grow. So definitely, if you can't find anything else, do lavender and rosemary. I am running out, obviously. I was like shaking the heck out of that thing, trying to get it all out. So go ahead and do that. And here I'm just about to show you that it's really, 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 it, it's, it's thick and um, you don't want to mix it 
try to mix up everything, you know, that thickness of it is just, it's too much. So I have another method in which you can do this and you can make it a little bit easier for yourself and it'll come out a little bit, well, actually way more creamier if you was just to mix it on your own. So we're going to do the double boil method and what we're going to do is take that glass bowl. That's why you need a glass bowl. Put a little bit of water into that pot and you're only going to turn the oven, the um, eye on very low, like literally the lowest. And right here, I'm just showing you that you, I have it literally on one. Okay, you don't need it more than that. You do not want to destroy the shea butter and take out all the nutrition from too much heat. So this is how it looks when it first goes into the pot. I would say about 30 minutes because it's on low heat. About 30 minutes, check it and start stirring and see where it's at. You want to make sure when you stir it, it is literally like pure liquid. No chunks in it nothing so if all your stuff is frozen like your shea butter is really hard your coconut oil make sure that everything is really 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 liquid you do not want any kind of lumps in it so once everything is all stirred up and you realize there's no lumps you're going to go ahead and put it into the freezer yes you want to solidify it just a tad bit now when you do put it in a freezer I'm not sure depending on how free how um fast your freezer freezes um i was gonna leave it in there like here i said 45 minutes but i'm not gonna leave it for 45 i actually left it for 30 so 30 minutes it looks about like this now as you can see as i'm starting to go ahead and blend it up it's very creamy i will let you know i blend i was sitting there for 15 minutes i did it for 10 minutes then i realized it was still a little bit too thick and so i did it for another five minutes so i would say a total of 15 minutes as you can see right here it is starting to be starting to get creamy but it's not quite there and you will see as you stir in you know exactly you know what consistency you like i just like mine extremely creamy so i did kind of scrape off the side of the bows and kept the uh, the bow and kept putting it in the center like kept putting the shea butter in the center and keep mixing and mixing it and as you can see right here it got really 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 creamy and i'm gonna go ahead and now put it right back in that shea butter container that i bought I think I got it for like 10 bucks for eight ounces. You should have about nine ounces, I would say. Um, so you can have a little bit left, about an ounce or so left of the shea butter after you put it all into this container. But as you can see, it's so creamy. And the reason why we um, go ahead and melt it like that on the stove is because if you stir it up, it's not going to stay consistently creamy. After a couple of days, it's going to get hard. So making sure that you melt it down to a very liquid form is mandatory to have it so creamy. So I'm just showing you guys here how creamy it is. I was so happy about that. I did record a video of me doing a twist out with this. So I would definitely um, post that as well. And that is all. You're going to go ahead and put the lid on it, keep it in room temperature, and you have your creamy shea butter. This will last you for a very long time. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Hit that bell button so you can see all my videos that will be coming up. Have a beautiful day. Bye.